We have a problem. Meiosis is such a natural thing to do. Guys make sperm, girls make eggs. Let's stop talking, let's get to it. Falling in love is such an easy thing to do. Birds can do it, we can do it. Let's stop talking, let's get to it. Let's fall in love. I'm Dr. Stanton. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have a teensy, itty weeny, tiny problem. I have a bun in the oven. Oh, are you sure? Mm-hmm, most definitely. I know when my ego is prego. Well, just in case, we're gonna have to do some tests. It's meiosis. So it's stage, I mean, it's a process that starts with one cell that turns into four cells. The first stage is prophase one, and then the stage spindle fibers, spindle fibers appear, and the nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappear. Also, chromosomes line up with homologous pairs and twist together to share DNA. The second stage, metaphase one, is where all the chromosomes line up in the midline of the cell. And in anaphase one, the third step, the chromosomes move to opposite sides of the cell, which means that your baby will have your genes as well as the father's. In cell phase 1 and cytokinesis 1, the chromosomes start to reach the opposite ends of the cell, and the cell starts to separate. Now you have two cells containing one chromosome from each month of this pair. But that's not all, because you have to go to meiosis 2. Are you following me? So now we're in meiosis 2. Now the two cells that were just formed do the following steps. In Prophase 2, spindle fibers form and begin to move chromosomes to the midline of the cell. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up at the midline of the cell and now face the pole, opposite poles of the cell. And in anaphase 2, chromosomes separate and move towards opposite sides. In cell phase 2 and cytokinesis 2, the last step of meiosis, nuclear membranes form around the chromatids and the cells separate. We now have four cells, which, which can either be four sperm cells or one egg cell. All that happens inside my body, just one egg and one sperm have to combine, and then boom, a baby's in my belly? Yeah, it's scary stuff, isn't it? I mean, I can direct you to a special agency that helps teen mothers like yourself. You think it would help? Thank you for your time and help. I would really appreciate that number to the teen agency. No problem. The first time too many teens have the sexual reproduction talk with their parents is they either fail to test or they're telling them that they're pregnant. Parents, if your teen has a question about sex, they're doing their homework. Teens, meiosis is cool, but sex is bad. Don't end up like me. Teen pregnancy is 100% 100% preventable. Start talking about meiosis. Well, I have to go give birth now, but for more information on meiosis or sexual reproduction, please visit trelka.weebly.com or stayteen.org.